The men's race still to unfold here. Buta of Norway on the left of your shot. And then you've got uh, Jaylan, Ibrahim Jaylan of Ethiopia in the center, the world champion at 10,000 meters. Collis Birmingham just behind him in the gray top. And then you've got Sergei Lebed behind him. These athletes are just looking behind to see where Kenanesa Bekele is. Oh, he is there. I can just see him, the short figure at the back of that. Oh, here he comes, just on cue, just to take close order at the front of the race. And uh, a little glance over the shoulder. And this race now is beginning to emerge. Birmingham, though, very impressed with him in the early part of this season. I really am. And uh, he's uh, he ran a 50. Uh, 60 56 personal best half marathon uh, this season that was uh, earlier on this year and uh, let's just see what's happening here well Lauren Houth is fancying her chances here sixth place as I said in the European Indoor Championships over 3,000 meters went to the World Cross Country Championships 48th place and uh, really uh, looking very very strong indeed and it looks as though the uh, Spaniard uh, Diana Martin, the steeplechaser at eight kilometers, has been dropped off the back. Now we're down to three at the moment, and uh, all in a line. Bleasdale comes up close. Just that little psychological look. That's the hill. That's one of those testing little hills. Not too steep, but it's undulating. And, of course, it causes an upset in the rhythm. And along with the wind, and it is strong here, believe me, it's strong, then that is a real challenge. But Steele looking very, very strong indeed. 31st in the World Cross Country Championships uh, in March this year. And uh, I reckon her future's in marathon running. And now, what's the men doing? Not a lot at the moment. It's everybody and everybody's in there with a chance. Right at the back of the field now, Mouaziz of Morocco. He held a lead or one of the leading positions for some considerable time on the left of your shot. So, Bekele now then, is this a chance, a subtle increase of pace? Now, who's going to go with him? Waz is in second, Birmingham in third. And then you've got uh, Buta, who's dropped now behind Lebed. And Lebed now struggling. Now, that is a very, very interesting... Look at this. He's put the pedal down. It was subtle. And all of a sudden, um, Collis Birmingham uh, tried to go with him and found life very, very difficult indeed. This is a man who can run well under 28 minutes for this uh, 10K on the roads. A little glance over his shoulder, 7K gone. There's the time, around 20.35 unofficial. And Collis Birmingham really trying. Jalen, look, is really struggling at the moment. Moazis is in third place, Lebed in fourth. And then you've got Jalen in fifth. And then behind him is Buta, and Buta is really struggling. Ah, now Gemma Steele. Can she hold off Lauren Howarth? Now this is becoming a real race between two now. Julia Bleasdale is beaten. And so is the Spaniard, Diana Martin. It's down to two. Can Steele now defend her title? He won the race last year, and she's had injury problems as well. This is Romagnolo of Italy, a steeplechase finalist in the Olympic Games uh, this last year, just ahead of uh, Alinda Byrne. And, of course, Elle Baker once again. We've got a brief glimpse of her. But these two now away from the rest of the field. Which has the finish now on the basis of what she did indoors over on the boards, uh, Lauren Howth would have a good sprint finish. I would say that perhaps if it comes to a close one, she's got a very good chance if she can hang on now. And as far as the men are concerned, what a brave run by Collis Birmingham. Wow, he's going along with the great man himself, Kenanisa Bekele, the defending champion. Just subtly increased the pace, came from the back of the pack. Lebbage trying to chase as well, and he's finding it tough. Remember, this fella's brilliant on the country. Not quite so good on the roads, not quite so good on the... Well, he's nowhere near as good on the track. He's never been able to translate. He got to the final, as I said, of the 2000 Olympic 5000. I think he was seventh in that, if I remember correctly. And Collis Birmingham now is having to let go. He's having to let go, and all of a sudden, we're down to one in the men and two in the women. Side by side, Steele and Howarth. Wonderful uh, piece of running by both of them. 9K, just 1,000 metres to go, 31 10. So it's not going to be quick, but we don't mind. It's about racing on this day. The gale force winds have caused a real problem. And these two have now opened up a considerable margin ahead of Julia Blaisdell, the double Olympic finalist and Collis Birmingham now is being caught uh, by Sergei Lebed 
Birmingham's paying the penalty now for trying to go with Bekele, and Jalen may well catch him as well. But Lebid now really motoring and trying desperately to get back into contention, but it's, it's going to be a very, very difficult job with this man who really looks very, very comfortable indeed. This is the Bekele we remember. This is the Bekele with that look of total and utter relaxation on his face. No tension in those shoulders, running away from a field, a substantial field of quality. And look at this, Howarth has taken it on. And all of a sudden, Gemma Steele looks as though she's under a little bit of pressure. And Howarth is going away. This is a slight downhill, 400 meters, just a little less to go. And Howarth is coming away from Steele. This really is a brave run and probably a surprise in a sense, although we know that she was in good form, but she's come off the boards indoors, come onto the roads, come onto the country, and is showing not only strength endurance, but speed endurance too. And she's gonna take this and take it quite comfortably in the end. And Gemma Steele had to let go. She really has, she's rocking and rolling in the background, that blonde hair flowing from side to side, but she's been beaten on the day. And the leading four is as we've seen it right the way through the second half of this race. But Lauren Howth is coming home to win the Great Ireland Run for 2013. And what a fine performance this is. It augurs well for the season, certainly for this young woman. It really does. Off the European Indoor Championships to a first place on the roads over 10K. She's in good shape. What a way to start the season. Gemma Steele's going to come into second place. Unable to defend her title, but my goodness me, she put up a terrific fight. She really did. And Julia Blaisdell held on for third. Winning time outside 33 and a half, but don't worry about that. But uh, here comes uh, a Diana Martin. And behind her is uh, Romagnolo, and then Linda Byrne, and behind her is El Baker. Well, good race by all, but my goodness, in the end, Lauren Howarth totally in control. This is uh, Romagnolo, the steeplechaser, a couple of steeplechasers in the race, getting some uh, strength and speed endurance in this early st stage of the season. But now back to the men, and when you talk about men on the track, then this is a man of some considerable consequence. Kenanise Bekele of Ethiopia. He's won pretty well everything. Poor form over the last two years, mainly due to the serious calf injury. It hampered his preparation and in turn his competition. He didn't go too well at the Olympic Games. I remember talking to his manager who said that the Olympics have come two or three weeks too early. And you have to believe that because this man will take some beating. Lebed's done his best, a more regular paced run than Collis Birmingham, who really did suffer. I can see that Birmingham has been beaten by Jalen. I can see Jalen behind him um, at the moment in third place. But this is a world-class long-distance runner in every sense. Brilliant on the country, brilliant on the roads, brilliant on the track, Olympic champion, world champion, world record holder. He's done it all, and still he does it. Kedanisi Bekele of Ethiopia coming through to win this 2013 Great Ireland Run. Brilliant stuff. And Sergei Lebed, another fine run, will come into uh, second place, certainly. But my goodness, he's got a chase on. And you'll see Lebed coming into the picture now, but that picture betrays a more substantial lead, I can tell you. And for the second time in two years, Kenanisi Bekele of Ethiopia takes the Spa Great Island Run. Brilliant performance by him. Once again, times insignificant, don't matter. This is a great man, a great performance. The conditions, well, they made it very difficult for him, but you can see how blustery it still is. But in comes Sergei Lebed of the Ukraine into second place. Good run, well judged. He's got second, and Ibrahim Jelan of Ethiopia looks to me as though he's held on. Yes, he has. He's held on to third place. And he's come through Jelan. And Mouaziz of Belgium, or I should say he's trying to get Belgium citizenship. He's a Moroccan coming just through the shot on the left now there. And Collis Birmingham comes into fifth, suffered from uh, really taking the great man on. And behind him is, uh, what, Buta, 
That's uh, Ulrik Buter of Norway was up there for some considerable time. But Bekele controlled it when he wanted. Let's just update the result of the men's race. Bekele of Ethiopia from Sergei Lebed of the Ukraine. Ibrahim Jelan of Ethiopia. The winning time, 28.51. Since 10, 11 years ago, you know, uh, from World Cross Country in Dublin, so, so you know, this uh, this country, you know, I'm, uh, you know, uh, it's like uh, my second country, you know, I like it so much. It's very good uh, atmosphere, you know, people are very good, you know, it looks uh, great, you know, great place, so I'm happy, you know. Well, let's update the women's situation. Lauren Howarth, what a run for her. 33-36 from Gemma Steele, the defending champion, 33-49. And Julia Blaisdell in third. Yeah, I felt good. Um, obviously, running with Gemma and Julia for most of it helped. And like we were able to work together and take like bits on each. Um, but yeah, I felt really good at the end and I had a good sprint finish. Because this year, time last year, I was only just starting to run again after an injury. So, no, really good year. And it's great to come out here and race well. Well, earlier in the day, it was down to the men. It was one mile, and the early faller, Paul Robinson, Ireland's youngest ever sub four minute miler. He made his way slowly through the pack and in the end raced away for a very fine win over Owen Everett and David Harper in four minutes and 14 seconds. Our two great races today over the longer distance Kananisa Bekele and Lauren Howarth, the two victors on the day. And uh, of course, Coming up, the BT Great City Games in Manchester and the Booper Great Manchester Run. But keep up to date with things on greatrun.org. The Great Island Run took place the day before the tragic events at the Boston Marathon. On behalf of everyone associated with Great Run, we offer our deepest sympathies to all those affected. Our thoughts are with them.